let me show you how to add a really nice looking feedback button on your website, just like this one. That means that when someone is looking to provide feedback, they can just view that button, click on it, and it's, it's going to open up a form. So it's really nice. Let me show you how right now. Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and like I said, I'm going to show you how to add a really nice looking feedback button on your website. That means that by clicking on it, it's going to open up the form on your website. So it's really appealing for visitors and clients to provide feedback by clicking on that button. So let's get started. This is my dashboard and we're going to create a really simple feedback form to add on our website. So I was going to create a form. In this case, I'll use a template and I'm going to search for feedback so I can view all the templates that are available right here. Here we go. Here's the templates and I can select one of these and I'll use the simple one feedback form. So I'm going to use this one. And obviously you can customize this to your liking and needs for your own form. And in this case, I'll leave it as it is just for this demo. And I'm going to go into publish. I'm going to go into embed and embed. We have several options, but the one we want to use is this one feedback button. I'm going to click on this and let me show you how it looks by default. So if I click on preview, here's the feedback button on the left. If I hover over this, you're going to see it. It changes color. And if I click on it, it's going to open up that feedback form right here. So it's really neat that we can use this really easily. Okay. Now, what if you want to customize this? Because maybe orange is not our branding color. Maybe we don't want it on the left. We want it on the right. So we have all those options available. So it's going to customize. And for customization, there's several options. First of all, we can change what it says right here. So it says feedback by default, but we could say feedback form or survey or give us your feedback. Whatever you want to give as a title, you can do it there. And then we have the form that I mentioned. So that means the box that the form is going to appear. So 700 by 500, the height, we can change it if you think if you think it's too small or too big. Next, we have is the screen alignment. So by default, it's on the left, but maybe you want this on the right or on the top or on the bottom, etc. We'll work on that in a bit. We'll keep it on the left for now. And then we have the vertical alignment. So we have center, top and bottom. So we can change that also. And then we have select light box style. So you saw the style right now, which is orange with gray. We can change the color or maybe you want white or black with gray, etc. We'll leave the one it is right now. And then we have the background color. So like I mentioned before, maybe orange is not your branding's color or your website colors. We can change that. Let's just say it's kind of like a blue. Well, we'll change it to blue. And then we have the hex. If you want to really fine tune the color that is uh, available also. And then we have the text color, which is white, which I think is fine. White with, I mean, blue with white is fine. So let's go ahead and preview this. You can see now it's blue with white fonts and we have the, the form right here. Okay. So looking good as of now, we can also change the alignment. So let's say we want it on the right. Let's go ahead and preview now. And now it's on the right. Say we want it right center preview and it's right center now. So a lot of options available. We're going to keep it to the left and we're going to keep it on the center. Let's go ahead and save changes. Let's copy our code. And now we are going to add this on a website. Now, in this case, this is the WordPress site, a demo site, but you can add this on Wix, on PHP sites, on Presto shop, whatever you want to use, as long as you have access to adding the code. So right now, this website doesn't have any feedback form. Let me go ahead and refresh this. See, there's nothing going on here, so nothing fancy, but I'm going to go into the back end of WordPress and I'm going to show you how to add it on WordPress. Now, uh, you can download a plugin that's called header and footer and add it there. But in case you want to don't want to add a plugin, you can go into appearance, theme file editor, and in the file editor, we're going to search for the header.php. Okay, here we are. We're going to search here and then here it is theme header, but it's actually the header PHP. So let's select this. Here we go. And we're going to add our code all the way to the end. Okay, we're going to paste it here. We're going to update the file. There we go. The file is edited successfully. So let's go into our website. Let's go ahead and preview it right now. Here we go. We have the feedback form button here. So now we have a site that is a sales site, a blog or whatever, but you have this button really nice here. So feedback form. So if I click on it, boom, we have a form that can provide feedback. So comments, feedback, etc. really nice. That's really easy to capture a viewer's attention so they can click on it right there. Now, like I said, we can customize this either over here in the customizer. But if you really want to fine tune this, you can actually go into the actual editor. So inside of the code that we just grabbed, there's options to edit this. So the code starts right here. So remember, we have the width and height that we can actually 
edit over there. We have the font color, the background color, the form ID, and then we have the button text. We can actually change it right from the code. We can change the alignment here, the center, the base, etc. And we can change colors from here if we like. We can use a hex code like this to really fine tune and grab the code that we want. So if I want to change another shade of blue like this one, I can go ahead and copy the code, go into the editor right here, and I can change the background. Let me grab the code, paste it. I'm going to update it. There we go. It's been updated. Let's go into our site. Remember, this is the shade of blue right now. Let me refresh it, and now it changed it to another shade of blue. So you can either do that in the customizer over here or do it inside of the code. So you have two options to customize it. So it's a really nice way to add a feedback button into your site that's going to be appealing for your viewers. But there you go. That is how you are going to add it to your website. Well, don't forget to leave us in the comments what you think about this feedback option. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.